Epstein's hunch promised to make him an overnight millionaire. But first he had to find his seam of the soft greenish yellow rock, the atomically buzzing carnitite ore that the Localuta and Navajo Indians had ground up for war paint. We thought the new Chevrolet Colorado ZR2, a dedicated off-roader conceived with trophy truck and quad ATV styling cues and coming across as a raptor light, would prove to be the right ride to trace Steen's 67-year-old trail through the Utah labyrinths. To make things more interesting, we procured a $47,730 the four-door crew cab fitted with the available 2.8-liter inline four Duramax turbo diesel, believing the prodigious 369 pound-feet of Tabor combined with the 20-mile-per-gallon EPA-rated average would produce the perfect uranium prospector. And we were right, with a few caveats. By all accounts. Dean was an extrovert and a bit of a loud mouth. After talking his way out the door of his Texas oil company job in 1950, he packed up his wife, Minnie Lee, she preferred them out, and their four boys and bolted to the Colorado Plateau, lured by mining journal's report on uranium possibilities in the Four Corners area. He couldn't afford the essential uranium prospector's tool, a Geiger counter, so he placed his faith in his geology training and experience. We picked up our graphite metallic ZR2 in Grand Junction, Colorado.